as we um, were talking before we got into meditation, um, um, our um, friend and elder, uh, Baba Kofi, uh, the general, uh, he talked about uh, getting up, getting up early and being aware. And sometimes you might find yourself waking up three and four o'clock in the morning and you're not really understanding. That's, uh, that's the creator talking to you, trying to get you up to um, focus on what's important. And you might try these exercises at that time. Um, if you're not really tired, you might just you might just try this breathing exercise um, and um, see what happens. You will find your mind developing. You will find yourself uh, calmer. You will find yourself uh, achieving uh, equanimity and balance of mind and heart. So now we're going to do our pranayama exercises. And so we take our left hand and uh, put it in our lap, face up. We're gonna sit up straight and we're going to place our right thumb on the right nostril and exhale. So let's do that. And inhale through the left. Ring finger on the left and exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. And continue. We're going to do that for about four minutes. Just keep that practice. By doing this practice, you keep your mind occupied, it keeps it from flittering from this to that. When you feel your mind wandering, just gently bring it back to your breathing. This is cleansing your 72,000 energy centers in your body that form 114 junction points in your body that are called the chakras. Two are outside the body. One is above the head, one is below. And then they form the seven chakras, which the word means wheel, 
but actually they form junction points in the shape of a triangle. You're cleansing these to be able to be aware like the deer and the hare. A minute 30 left. You're doing fantastic. All right, you may stop. Stop your pranayama. Prana is considered the vital force within everything. And so what we want to do is we want to get control of that. You know, a lot of times we breathe uh, but we're not really focusing on our breath. And it's most essential thing. Uh, you can go uh, many days without food. You can go many days or few days without water. But you are not going to go too far without air right. and breathing. Um, so that's why we, we need to focus on that. Um, so now the next exercise that we're going to do is simply we're going to form this mudra, which is uh, lightly touching the thumb and index finger. We're going to we're going to place that on our laps facing up. And then we're going to uh, have our back always have your back erect feet flat on the floor, or if you're able to sit in a cross-legged position, you can, you can do that. Um, and then we're going to have our head tilted slightly upwards. And as we do that, we notice that our gaze naturally is between our eyebrows, you know, the mid eyebrow point. And now we're just going to observe the ins and outs of our breathing in the same way that you would observe your neighbor's breathing. Don't try to hold your breath longer or cut it short. Just observe how you're breathing. And let us begin. We're going to do that for four minutes. Fill up your diaphragm as you breathe.
Try not to breathe shallowly. When you feel your mind wandering, just gently bring it back to your breathing. Keep your mind on your breathing and your breathing on your mind. Coming up on the two minute mark. About 30 seconds left, you're doing fantastic. And we're coming up on the 1021 uh, time period. And so, uh, as we had mentioned earlier, uh, some of you um, are waking up, you know, early in the morning, three, four o'clock in the morning. And um, that's the creator and the ancestors calling you. And uh, if you are not too sleepy at that time, you might, you, know, you might use that time to do the meditation, to do the breathing exercises that we've done today, or the uh, Jyoti um, candlelight, um, candle flame meditation that we did last week, or whatever form of meditation that you do. Now, as we close, uh, it's good to open with this particular exercise, this particular, um, this, is, this vibrates through your whole body, through your whole system, and it's um. So the first one is ah. Uh, And as you, so when your mouth is, is open, it's ah, uh, 
when and as you close your mouth, it becomes ow. And then as you close your mouth completely, it becomes mmm. Ah, ooh, mmm. So let's close out with 10 of those as we get ready for the service today. Ah. 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 Uh. 